Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gabe the Collector. We're diving into some more Yu-Gi-Oh! I could not stay away. The Rarity Collection has been released. Um, so this is the 25th Anniversary Rarities Collection. This is what they were teasing with the Legendary Collection, having the quarter century rares and all of that stuff. Um, we did that on the channel. Uh, some of those boxes, I also did a handful off the channel, I feel like, too. And uh, I had to grab some of these sleeves. I had to. So I got a couple more of these and we're going to get into them. Hopefully, hopefully we can uh, find us a ghost bell in the Haunted Mansion. We did not have any luck the first go around. I should have opened these ahead of time. Because <laughs> they're, they're pretty sealed. They're like, they don't want people getting into these prematurely. But uh, yeah, that's what we're hunting. Um, just like last time, the last video... There's not really m any um, data yet on like what kind of cards are going to be more your hits besides just what you're looking for at this point. Um, and that's what I'm opening it for because I really want that, that bell card because I do not have any. And so I would love to get one out of here. And we have the option, as we discussed um, in the last video, there's seven rarities. Uh, so every card has seven rarities. That's wild. Um, I don't know if it goes over it on this here. Yeah, so let's just, uh, just to recap for anybody, if they didn't watch that other video, um, the whole pack, it's five cards per pack. That's five foils. Everything in the set is foiled. Uh, there are 79 cards in the set, but there are seven different rarities of every single card. So seven times 79, and that's how many are actually in the full set. Wild going to be insane um if for anybody that's trying to get a master set or whatever uh we're looking for like i said ghost bell that's the card i would really love to get but overall it's just fun to open these and yeah, we're just going to leave them that way because i usually always pick one to do last but alpha the master of beasts and I'm not going to remember all the different rar rarities because we had trouble last time. I'm definitely not going to remember them all. There's certain ones I do know. But this should just be our normal, uh, like, secret rare, I think. Oh, this is a special one here. Evenly matched. So this was one I wasn't sure what this rarity was. Might be a collector's rare. Because... It extends, besides this having a special type of foiling, it also extends to our box down here uh, for our text. And then up here, it's, man, one of these cards feels so weird. So I'm assuming maybe we got one of the embossed ones. It's like bugging me <laughs> holding these. But this is a sick card. Evenly matched. Like I said, I'm not familiar with all the different types, so we're not even going to try. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Number 100, Numeron Dragon. Gorgeous card there. Hey, hey Pot of Extravagance. We'll take that. These cards back here feel so weird. I don't know what one it was. <laughs> I just felt weird. The edges of it felt weird. All right. Then we got Boar, uh, Boar Load Savage Dragon. All right. So this was definitely our hit of that one. But the Pot of Extravagance. We will be sleeving that for sure. Put this over on top of it. I know I'm weird with me, my piles. I'm like, I have a slight touch of OCD for sure. <laughs> like, and I like organization. So I, I have like piles and I'll make piles for each rarity we pull. Hopefully we can pull some, uh, hey, reinforcement of the army. We pulled this in a quarter century rare. It was the only quarter century rare I think we pulled, uh, if I remember correctly, in the last video. Oh my god, that card is fucking stunning. Magician's Salvation. Be 
See, so this one is different than this one. That's why I'm saying I'm not sure what the rarities are. It's eventually I'll get it, and then we'll move on to a next another set. All right, I'm gonna sleeve this magician's salvation because this card is absolutely stunning. Look at that. I make a pile for each of our rarities here. All right. Elder Entity Entis. <gasps> we got her! We got her, dude! We fucking got her! Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion! We fucking pulled it! Yes! On our second pack! All right. I mean, obviously, it'd be cool to get more varieties of her, but I'm just happy I have her now. I finally have her. All right, let's see what our next card is. Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous. Nice. Oh my god, I'm so happy. And I know it's just kind of like a... I don't even know. This one's got the gold. So this one's not just a base. Which none of them are base, technically. But like... Um, this, if I'm not mistaken. These ones here. With no type of... Uh, kind of hollowing of their words. Are more like base that you can get in this set it's fucking hyped about that that's awesome set her there she can be in her own spot actually she's gonna go right here got her own spot she's special that's what we wanted we did it 79 card set we got her we got her All right, Mech Knight, Crusadia, Avermax. I believe I pulled that card before. Herald of the Arc Light. This one's like our Magician's Salvation, whatever this card is. <laughs> this rarity. On a quarter century rare, we're going to get one today. Oh! Oh, this is the embossed kind. Oh, and it's a fucking cool one, too. Tour guide from the underworld. Oh, my God. It's so cool. Look at it. So you see how it's raised? It's embossed. The whole edge is embossed. Oh, my God. It's so fucking cool. This is like one in six that you can pull this um, for this slot. And I can't remember what this slot's considered. Back to back? We pulled two embossed ones back to back. And we just pulled this Herald, uh, Herald of the Arc Light. Also in another rarity. <laughs> Not the like base rarity. That is absolutely fucking wait, no, this isn't the embossed one. This is a this is a collector's rare. You see it? It's got like swirls. Kind of hard to see it here. See like these swirls? My knowledge is a collector's rare because I pulled this before a collector's rare one other time and it was in Amazing Defenders. Oh my god, this pack was lit! We were, we were right to put it last. We were right to put it last. And then into a Shadal sh uh, Shism. Absolutely sick looking card. Hella cool, but man, these two, a collector's rare and let me slide this one into one, the embossed. I'm not sure. I can't remember what this is called because there's the names of all of the rarities. The seven rarities are evading me. There's like super rare, there's secret rare, there's the uh, collector's rare, starlight rare is not in this. Um, and then there's obviously some more, and I just don't know all the names. This embossed one is sick. That is so fucking cool. We didn't pull any out of our last box, the box we bought, because we bought one of the, the 
I don't know what you call those boxes. They're basically blaster boxes. They just don't take the shape of a normal blaster box for like sports cards. Um, we didn't pull any collector's rares. Unless I somehow missed it. We did not pull any collector's rares. So to pull a collector's rare in this one right here. You can see the swirls on the edging. That's definitely a collector's rare. I can't remember what this one's called, but this is the embossed one, and it's fucking awesome. I'm obsessed with this card. The tour guide from the underworld is such a sick card. I'm not familiar with the entire checklist. Like I said, 79 cards in this set, but we pulled <laughs> Ghost Bell and uh, Haunted Mansion, which I wanted so bad. That was my, my hunt for this set, and we got her. We pulled this sick ass embossed card tour guide from the underworld. We got Herald of the Arc Light on this uh, collector's rare, and then these are some other beautiful cards here. I'm not sure. Um, Herald of the Arc Light here and the Magician Salvation. I'm not sure what this rarity is, um, but this card's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna put this one on top later too because I think it's so sick. Probably don't need to, but it's sick as hell. You got a uh, Dark Magician down here, and then you got, uh, is it Dark Magician Girl, right? Can't remember for sure. And then this one here, Evenly Matched. I'm not positive. This is a different rarity than all the rest. Um, and like I said, it's because you actually have the hollow around our box down here for our text. Really, really cool. Awesome, awesome rip, guys. That was so fucking fun. I love it. I love it. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments what card you're hunting in this set. Like I said, 79 card set. Which one are you looking for when you're ripping this? And also, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. All of this stuff helps us get more exposure and get more people to the channel so that we can meet more people and kind of grow this uh, community so we can talk to each other about this stuff because I love it. I love getting to talk to you guys about this stuff and be excited about it with you. So. As always, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.